Hey everybody and welcome to Recipe Roulette, a cooking show where we showcase our dairy loving cat. I thought it was have enough whiskey to make a portable sauce. Wait. Show off our adorable mascot? Sweat the onions like Richard Simmons? Hmm, no. I know. What? We're gonna choose a recipe book, open to a page at random, and make whatever it says. That's totally a plan. But well, we're gonna keep everything else, all right? Of course. Okay, Caspi, you can stay. Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Recipe Roulette. Uh, what are we cooking tonight? So we're making Chicken Kiev inspired and making it veggie. And yep. this is from, well, the inspiration from Betty Crocker's cookbook. So traditional Chicken Kiev is you have butterfly chicken breast and you bread it and you put a garlic herb butter over it and you cook it in the oven. Well, we have veggie nuggies, we have garlic, we have herbs, and we have butter. So we are going to show you how to make Kiev Nuggies. Easy Kiev Nuggies. Easy Kiev Nuggies. And if it's you... four ingredients, and we're going to show you those ingredients. Yeah, and I just want to say, if you do want to do the whole breading, it can be really nice. You can make your own, uh, like, own nice breading for it, and that's going to be in the link down below. We did a yeah, breading. we did the breaded seitan bite salad. Salad that could easily using those sheets of seitan that I showed you how to make in the seitan recipe, which also will be linked down below. And you can wing this, but we a little bit of a time crunch, as you can tell. Laura's outfit hasn't changed in the last three weeks because we're doing some recording because I have to to main for a little bit. So ingredients. Ingredients. So for our ingredients, we get a bag of chicken nuggies. We are big fans of the Impossible Nuggets. Got a half a stick of melted butter. A tablespoon of dried parsley. And a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And put this all together, pop it in the oven. Oh, I gotta show them how to pop it together. Yeah, that's what I meant. We're gonna Ow. put it all together. They're gonna watch us. <laughs> all right. All right, so we got our quarter cup or half a stick of melted butter. To that, we are going to add our parsley and our garlic powder. And we are going to give this a good stir. Let that get all incorporated. We're going to set that over to the side. Bring in our glass casserole dish. Open our bag of Impossible Nuggies, which They're not that impossible to open this time. Spread these out in an even layer. We're going to take our basting brush and we are going to apply our herb butter to all of our nuggies. Each 
good coat of this butter. Now I'm going to take my spoon, make sure I get a little parsley, little leaves on each nuggy. What else is that flavor? Help to cook into it. So we're using dried parsley tonight uh, because uh, the one that parsley that's grown out on the porch is in a developing stage. But if, about a month ago, I harvested a bunch of parsley leaves and I dried them in our dehydrator. So this is still a nice homegrown parsley, but. If you have fr fresh parsley, it would also be great. And this is going to go in the oven for at 375 for 11 minutes. And we'll be back for the first bite. Alright, first bite, Kiev Nuggies. Mm. Like, those are so moist. Yeah, like... You don't even need a sauce for it. You do not need a sauce for those. Wow. Yeah. Easy way to get some... Um, some really flavored chicken nuggies. When you don't have any... Dipping sauce, just cook them in butter. Yeah. Okay, so you got something special coming up for next time. Yeah, uh, actually, we're going to do a recipe roulette uh, challenge. Uh, I'm going to be up in Maine for the Carlton Project, as I said at the beginning of this episode. So, uh, out of all of our cookbooks, I figured this one would be the one that we could easily cook out of at the school. Don't need an oven or a lot of other fancy cooking equipment. So we're going to, it's been, it's been two attempts with this book and I said that we have one third last chance. So if the Carlton kids say this book is not good. It's going. It, it, it's going, it's going to find a home at Volumes Used Bookstore. Okay. Uh, it's gonna go in a box of books to go to Volumes. So. Shall I do the honors? Let's do the honors. Let's see if this cookbook actually is going to... Okay. So you can choose from one, two, three... Yeah, actually just one, two, or three. I'm getting the die for this one. Uh... Yeah, uh, two. Mexicali bean soup. Mexicali bean soup. There's hope. Yeah, the cookbook actually, might come back. That actually sounds really nice. I think the kids will like it. Yeah. So, let's, uh, we'll see you next time for a cooking class with some students and some Mexicali soup. Okay. Sounds fun. Bye, everybody. Peace.